Now the fuel tank consists of uh, the tank, the cap, and on the other side is the paint code, which is right there for the bike. You want to use unleaded fuel. But over the course of time, dust and dirt do get in the tank, depending on where you're riding, and no one really, you know, looks at it. It's just they just keep filling it up. The most important thing about this whole tank deal is these fuel filters. This tank comes with its own filter and it is a fine mesh but it's 26 years old. It fits right in here like this. Okay. Now if for some reason this mesh gets broken or corrupted all kinds of fine crap that's in the tank can go right into your carb. Once it gets in the jets you're screwed. You're going to have to rebuild it. Now, you say to yourself, well, it's only a one-cylinder carb. That's true. But if you have a four-cylinder bike, a 650 or something like that, and you clog up just one carb, it will not run right. Therefore, I suggest, strongly suggest anyone, if you buy a new bike or a used bike, go down and spend the two or three or four dollars on a filter. Okay, you can buy them at Napa, you can buy them anywhere. You can buy them at Honda Shop, they're a little more expensive. But get yourself a filter of some kind and put it between the tank and the carburetor. That is the best investment you can buy. Because you will know, and you don't even know if the the new tank has anything in it. Now to clean these out, the tanks, what I do, the, the first rule is you never use water around these tanks. They are specially lined on the inside. I don't know what with, but if you use water to shake these out and clean them, the, it will rust on the inside. So you don't want to do that. Then we have, this is really nice, it's a little can. Um, valve. Most of the valves, they look like this and they have a, excuse me, they have a little uh, lever right here that tells you on, off, or reserve. And the way the reserve works is that the ordinary gas or the re regular tank gas will only go through this top piece this top filter right here and then when you turn the reserve on it allows gas to go through the bottom part of the filter that way you always have a little bit left in the tank so you can get get it refilled because it, these don't have gas gauges on them the older ones didn't have now the K-N gauge or this right here your fuel goes through these two holes now one of them is, is, is reserve and one of them is uh, your regular. And what we have is a small straw right here which goes and fits in this hole right there. Okay. Now this is for your regular gas. And then what we have is the filter and a little O-ring. Now on these O-rings and on all these rubber parts you do not want to soak these rubber parts in gas or, or um, paint remover or anything like that because it will suck up that stuff and destroy it. Okay, now that's on there like that. Now we turn it over and I'll just, I'll just set it in here just for just to hold it. Now what goes in there is this is a secondary screen right here. You can tell it's all brand new looking. It's pretty cool. But this screen goes right here. Okay, and then you put your O-ring on. And the next thing that goes on is the little bowl underneath. Now this little bowl, what this does is this, uh, the fuel goes into the bowl first. Then it goes up 
through the screen and out through the the um, the main deal to your gas tank. And then we have the this is your let's see how that goes. Hmm. Anyway, this this goes on here. This is a uh, your regular and your reserve line. And we'll rebuild that on the next uh, part of the video. So, uh, I like to take uh, some gas and put it in there and shake it up real good and just empty it out just to make sure that there's nothing in it. Because you don't know if who who's owned the the bike beforehand or how much maintenance was done on it. You don't know and you can't tell unless you actually take the bike apart and physically look at it. But it's always good to keep things clean even though you have two filters one here and one here they can fail. So always buy yourself an auxiliary filter and put it on the minute you buy a bike. Okay that, that way you'll know that nothing going through that tank no matter what is going to get into those carbs and screw it up. Okay, next video we'll rebuild, I'll rebuild it. The tank. Then we'll get on to the oil tank. It'll be rebuilding the oil tank on the Honda Gyro 1985. I hope you like these videos.